Hi, welcome back, scholars. It's Monday, so let's hop right in. So today's question is about books. And we're talking about books because Miss Hildebrand has a ton of books at home, and she wants to put them on these really cute nifty shelves. But she wanted to ask you guys, how many shelves does she actually need because she needs to order them? So you heard it. The question is about Miss Hildebrand, and it is, Miss Hildebrand has 81 books. She wants to organize the books so there are 9 books on each shelf. How many shelves will she use? So now you need to help us figure this out. So I'm going to give you a moment to read that over to yourself so you can do your retelling. All right, we're going to move on. So now, Miss Hildebrand has 81 books. She wants to organize the books so there are nine books on each shelf. How many shelves will she use? Now this is the time where you start to retell. So listen before you pause. Please pause the video when I tell you to, and just like we do in class, you need to retell the story. It does not need to be word for word. So now pause it and give it a try. How'd it go? Did you get it? Again, if you did not get it, like just like the other videos, go back a couple of seconds and try it again. If you did, we're going to get going. So, like we usually do, we're going to go through this problem step by step, just like we do in our three read problem for math. So let's start. The first thing we should do is, good job, you should read it. So we should read it. Miss Hildebrand has 81 books. She wants to organize the books, so there are nine books on each shelf. How many shelves will she use? The second thing we usually do is we reread it. This time, I want you to read it with me. I'll go nice and slow. Miss Hildebrand has 81 books. She wants to organize the books, so there are nine books on each shelf. How many shelves will she use? Third thing we need to do is think about what we know. What information does the story give you? So let's start with the first thing in the first sentence in the front of your problem. Miss Hildebrand has 81 books. What is the most important part of this? That Miss Hildebrand has 81 books. You need to think about the books. You need to know how many. The second thing we need to look at in here is she wants to organize the books so there are nine books on each shelf. What is the important part of this one? Right now, if you can point to your screen, I want you to point. In three, in two, one. I'm going to click it so you can figure it out. Nine books on each shelf is what I thought was the most important in that sentence. Uh, I know that she wants to organize the books, but that's not the most important thing. It's that in each shelf, you need nine books. Third thing is, what is it going to ask you to do? Each shelf. Think about on each shelf, just like the pictures I showed you in the beginning with the shelves. On each of those, there needs to be nine books. And what is the question asking you to find? What is the question? Again, it's usually at the end, and it has that question mark. How many shelves will she use is our question. This is the part where you think about what's going on in this problem. So, after you read this question, now we're doing our more or less problem. Are you ready for your question? Our question is, does Hildebrand, this Miss Hildebrand need more or less than 81 shelves? Do you think she needs to order way more than 81 shelves or less than 81 shelves? Think about it. I want you to show me right now more or less. More is a thumbs up, less is a thumbs down. Pause and tell me why. All right, I like your reasoning, so let's move on. So now before you solve, I would like to go over why 
not why, what things we need to know about before you start solving. So let's go over some key details again. Think of what the story gives you and think of what you already know. So we're going to go back and highlight those parts that we really needed to know. It was that Miss Hildebrand has 81 books. Second thing is she wants nine books on each shelf. It's asking you to put nine books on each shelf. And it's asking you how many shelves will she use? Now, I know you saw this for the last two lessons, but I'm showing it again because I think this is really relevant to what is going on in today's story. So you're talking about rows because if you look at the shelves, they're in rows. Columns don't matter as much in this problem for me because I'm not really putting them in straight lines down this way. I don't think she minds that. But I still wanted to point out that rows go side to side and columns go up and down. Second thing to show you with that, a columns is longer and it goes all the way up and down. It's like a person. And another chart to show you the columns and the rows. Now I want you to think about this. If you are using these bookshelves, what should you be focused on? Columns or rows? Hmm. And now I want you to go and try to solve. You're going to pause this video and solve this on your own. Remember what the problem wants you to answer. You will need a piece of paper and a pen. And I want you to solve it out in at least one way, maybe two. Try to get creative. Think about something. Think about what you have. If you have 81 books, maybe you can even use books. It's a lot of books, which you would need to clean up later. You need a number sentence, a word sentence, and it doesn't look, it kind of looks like the problem from before as well, so maybe that can help you. And I want you to try to solve it. I'm going to show you three different ways that I solved it afterwards. You ready? All right, go. Okay, so the first way that I thought of would be the easiest way would be drawing. So as I showed you the picture of what Miss Hildebrand wants to use, they look like little shelves like this where they go on the wall. So then I would draw a shelf and I would put nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. So for my scholars that really need to see it in drawings, you can see that as nine books. That's nine. So then I'll go, okay, so that's nine. If you don't know, then just write the numbers in. Seven, eight, nine, so nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, and 18. So right now we're at 18 books and two shelves. This is shelf number one, this is shelf number two. And I'm just gonna keep going. Eighteen. So I got tired of writing the numbers in, so I can go 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So 27, 28, 29, 30, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So I'm going to write 36 in there. Alright, we're going to keep going. Still at 36, we're trying to get to 81 books and see how many shelves we used. 3, 3, 9, 40, 41, 42. Oh wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Hi, right, this is taking a while. I'm going to go over here because I don't have room to show you on my video. Usually I would just go straight down.
45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 54, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8. Start to become ends. 50, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. Sixty-four, sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight, sixty-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two. We're really close to eighty-one. Seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, eighty, eighty-one. Yes, we are at eighty-one books right now. And now I'm gonna count the shelves. So right now this is shelf number one. This is shelf number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we used nine shelves. Second thing we can do is add. So that basically means we're just going to take nines and we're going to add them together. I know that 9 plus 9 is 18, so every time there's a 9, that's a shelf. So this is shelf 1, this is number 2, you're going to add another 9. And our final goal is to get to 81. These are your books. So this is 9 books, and then 9 more books is 18. 9 more books is 27. Because this is shelf number 3. Then we're going to add 9 more books because again, we're still at 27. We're trying to get to 81. This is going to be a long one. So we're going to add 9 more and you get 9, 6, 1, 36. And this is shelf number 4. Add 9 more. 45. That's shelf number 5. Again, I will go straight down. And this time I'm just going to because I think it makes more sense. Plus nine more. And this is number six. Plus four. Fifty-four plus nine more. This is number seven. Nine and four. Thirteen. Five. Six. Nine more. Twelve. Seven. This is number eight. And then nine more is eighty-one. That's the number we wanted to get to. And this is shelf number 9. So if you count up all the 9's that you had, that's 1, 2. Actually, let me switch pens here for you. So this is number 1. This is number 2. This only the 9's. That's number 3, number 4, 5, 6. I'm going to have to move up to show you. 7, 8, and 9. So again, it came out to 9 shelves. Then what you can do is subtract. So we added, we drew, now we can actually subtract it. If you like subtraction better, which with this question, I believe it would be a little bit harder. You would start off with how many books you have. You have 91 books. And now you're going to take away 9 every time. And that is one shelf. It's like you have a stack of books over here. And every time you take away 9, you're putting it onto a shelf. So you're going to take away 9. And that is 7 here, 11, 20, I 72. Take away another 9, so that's another shelf. 6, it's too much. 3 here, and 63. Subtract another 9, this would be another shelf. 15, 54. Take away another shelf. We're trying to get down to the number 0 because you don't want any books left in this stack here. Forty-five, 
this is another shelf, this is another shelf. I'm putting these shelves here so later on I can just count the shelves. 36. Twenty seven shelf here. Two, one, two, eighteen shelf here. Shelf here and zero. So right now, if you look up, I have all these bars for my shelves, and my answer right now on the bottom is zero because that means you have zero books left. And then I'll count the shelves. Going all the way back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So again, we came out to nine shelves. Now that you solved, and now that you saw my three different ways to solve, Think about what you did, think about what I did. And if you came up with a different way, great job. I would love to see it. Snap me a picture, send it on Class Dojo. If you did the same way I did, then you know what? Show me that, because great minds think alike. I really want to see your work. So please snap it, send it to me on Class Dojo, send it to your teachers on Class Dojo, because then they'll send it to me. All right. The last part I want to go over is my number sentence and my word sentence. My number sentence can be either of these. It can be my subtraction sentence of 81 minus all these nines, which got me zero, but I also counted all these nines. It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nines, and that's my answer. Or you can do nine and add all of these nines to get to 81. And these nines, if you count them, there's nine of them. What you technically did is multiplication. You did nine times nine equals 81. My word sentence is, Miss Hildebrand will use nine shelves. Okay guys, great job today, and I'll see you in tomorrow's.